Hello, welcome to today's topic on natural and man-made disasters. Let's listen to this. Every year in the United States, they cause significant damages and 25 to 50 deaths. Globally, landslides cause billions of dollars in damages and thousands of deaths and injuries each year. Landslides are a geological activity in which falling of rocks and soil occur down a slope of land. Heavy rain, small earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and of course, the gravitational forces are the driving forces of landslides. The human activities like mining, construction, and quarrying also can cause landsliding. Landslides cause property damage, injury, and death, and adversely affect a variety of resources. Sites where leach field septic systems are used. Several factors contribute to flooding. Two key elements are rainfall intensity and duration. Intensity is the rate of rainfall and the duration is how long the rain lasts. Hello, welcome back. You can see that the clips we watched was all about natural and human disasters. So you can see man-made disasters. On the news on a daily basis, we hear about disasters and a disaster is a sudden event, okay, that causes great damage or loss of life. So a disaster caused by nature include floods, hurricanes and tornadoes, earthquake, but disasters caused by human action, oil spills and gas. Now let's look at flood. The image before you is that is a flood, flooded environment. Okay, flood is when an area of land that is usually dried is being overflowed with water. Okay, so that flood is a natural disaster. This is white fire. And as you can see, the bushes just burn naturally. Some countries in experience this white fire and most often it doesn't come down. Now you have tsunami. Tsunami is a quickening of the sea. That is earthquake of the sea. When there is earthquake under the sea. The, the water comes out and it starts destroying countries, starts destroying communities, okay? Some time passed, tsunami destroyed five nations in Asia, and it was a terrible one. Now, earthquake is the sudden movement of the earth's crust, okay? Sudden movement of the earth crust. So, movement below the earth crust, okay, causes the earth to quake. You can see the destruction that earthquake causes on buildings, properties and everything that is within that zone that the earthquake has happened now you have another natural disaster which is volcanic eruption a volcanic eruption is when lava and gas erupt from events in a volcano so it's almost like uh, an earthquake okay but it's a bit different because it has its form now you have heat wave a period of excessively hot weather Okay, so most often you experience such uh, things in the desert regions. That's the heat wave. Okay, so like we said earlier, the volcanic eruption is when lava and gas erupt from a vent in a volcano. Okay, so this is the image of a volcanic eruption. So you have man-made disasters like aeroplane clash, okay, due to technical fault. See this image of this aeroplane. Okay, I believe the passengers in that plane could not survive the incident. Then you have explosion, fire explosion, bomb explosion. Oftentimes, terrorists attack buildings, attack nations. Then you have shipwreck. These are man-made disasters. Okay, it could be shipwreck due to technical fault. It could be shipwreck due to uh, some other factors other than nature. So the image before you, okay, is that of um, a shipwreck. Now, natural disaster and man-made disasters, they vary because the natural disaster is the one caused by nature, while man-made disasters are disasters that are caused by natural disasters. Natural disasters. They include tornadoes, flood, drought, blizzard, avalanche, earthquake, tsunami, and volcano. What are natural disasters? First, a disaster is a sudden event that causes great damage or loss of life, just like the image before you. Now, man-made disasters. The first image is that of terrorist attack on building and then the blocking of river channels. 
the meaning of man-made disasters. Man-made disasters results due to human carelessness. Yes, it happens due to human carelessness. Today, we are going to discuss a natural and man-made disasters. Natural and man-made disasters. Now, the flooding of nature has always pushed behind man's progress since time immemorial. Okay, natural disasters include earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, cyclones, flood and famines, droughts. Humans have learned to live with nature and the onslaught of natural resistors using technology to control it. So earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, and cyclones are all hazards. Hazards are potential problems, okay? Even epidemics, okay? They are potential problems. The release of toxic gases, okay? Fires, wars, all these are hazards, okay? Now, the disasters... They are threats to life. They are hazards that affect a large portion of the country. Can you see the image before you? Yes, this is a very big disaster. But it can be minimized. It can be minimized. We can minimize the effects of the damage caused by disasters. Okay? The first step towards this goal is to actually divide these disasters into two major categories. Natural disasters and man-made disasters. Natural disasters occur due to natural phenomenon. You can see it, volcanic eruptions, okay? So they happen due to... Now, let's talk about man-made disasters. Man-made disasters. Now, most of the natural disasters cannot be prevented or averted. They take their own course, okay? And most of the time, it cannot be controlled, but we can minimize them like floods, like tsunamis, volcanic eruption, cloud burst storms okay snow avalanches landslides now it's only carelessness that can save life properties okay if we are very careful we can save life properties so that it cannot be damaged beyond the level in which we thought like earthquakes landslides snow avalanches and tsunamis all these natural disasters cause a lot of havoc to man now, in the event of any natural disaster due to um, all the causes we have mentioned, it's very important that we save life properties from serious damages when these disasters happen. So this damage of natural disasters caused by droughts, floods, cyclones, volcanic eruptions, okay? Some of them become so intense due to human activities. Now, humans can actually be evacuated before these disasters happen. They can be taken to other places. Now, some of all these uh, natural disasters can be increased by the conditions of humans. Droughts, floods, epidemics, all these are causes of natural disasters. Now, man-made disasters, like we said earlier, that when unplanned settlements in slopes, they may lead to sudden light slides. And even epidemics, diseases can spread in settlements that are not okay. Now, droughts. Droughts can lead to a very high increase in uh, desertification. Okay, which will affect a lot of people, even low lying houses, yes, and houses built along canals. All this can increase the activities of flood and they might not be managed very easily. So, it's very important that we don't magnify the effect of uh, natural disasters by blocking. Uh, rain tunnels. Now, the image before you is that of a woman with a frying pan, and you can see fire in it. She's in her kitchen. This is a man made disaster. These are disasters which occur due to human activities. They include explosions, oil spills, and oil leakage, chemical leakage, toxic gas leakage, wars, and strife. These are all examples of man-made disasters, terrorist attacks, stampedes in large gatherings, riots, desertification, okay, environmental degradation, 
rail and road accidents. All these are man-made disasters. And oftentimes, some of these disasters may be delayed in evacuation time. That is when it happens, before rescue can come, it takes a lot of time. And the natural disaster could be magnified due to natural causes. Man-made disasters, they can magnify due to natural causes. For example, um, desertification may accelerate due to long drought. And even epidemics may be intensified in rainy season. Okay? Then I've said that droughts too can be accelerated due to long uh, drought condition. That is desertification. If you watch the image before you, it's an environmental degradation due to a blocking of uh, canals canals when we block canals it will increase uh, and uh, make the channels not to flow off properly so environmental degradation is not the best now it's very important that when we are using machines in our companies or anywhere we should obey the do's and the don'ts of using machines Else, if they are not followed properly, it might lead to man-made disaster like the image you're seeing before you, this fire outbreak in this company. So it's very important that we follow all the safety rules and not allow. Now, another topic we want to look into is climate and vegetation in Nigeria. When we talk about climate and vegetation in Nigeria, we're trying to look at the seasons, the weather, and then the environmental condition of the country first. The map of Nigeria, the pink region is showing the hottest areas, the blue region is showing the moderately hot, while the green regions are the cool places. A climate is the general weather of an area over a long period of time. Climate, a general weather of an area over a long period of time. So the climate of an environment will be prolonged. Now in Nigeria, we have two seasons dry season and the rainy season these are the true seasons that we have in nigeria so the dry season in nigeria okay starts from october and gets into february but the rainy season starts um april and gets into july then we have our august break during the august period okay so we even have the hammer time during the season then nigerian vegetation Nigerian vegetation, we have three types of vegetation in Nigeria, okay? These types, they include the swamp. First of all, the meaning of vegetation. The natural vegetation of an area is the ground cover that grows without the presence of people. So it includes trees, shrubs, or grass. When you look at some forest areas, you see all the big trees, the shrubs, and the grasses. This is known as natural vegetation. That ground cover that grows without the presence of people. You can see there are no persons in this environment. So this is a natural vegetation, which is an area of ground that grows without the presence of people covering with trees, shrubs, and grasses. Like I said earlier, we have three types of vegetation. First is swamp forest, rainforest, savanna. We have three types of savanna, Guinea savanna, Sudan savanna, Sahel savanna. The sav savannas are the dry grasslands. Okay, so the swamp, are, uh, they are lands that are soft and muddy. They are soft and muddy lands, okay? That's the swamp regions of this country, mostly in the river Nile India and the southern parts of the country. That's where you see the swamp forest. Look at the image before you. That's the swamp forest is filled with uh, a lot of water. So the swampy uh, regions, they are filled with water. And then uh, they are very good for fishing because there are no good lands there. There are no much land in the swampy areas. So you have more of fishing activities going on in the swampy region. So animals in the swamp forest, you see the tiger, you see crocodile, you see cheetah, you see birds, you see different butterflies, you see all baboons, you see monkeys, they are all in the swamp forest. Now let's talk about the rainforest. It's another area that is filled with rain. So the rainforests grow in areas where there's a lot of rain. So rainforest animals, you can see them before you. There are lots of wild animals in the rainforest. And you have Iroko, Mahogany, Obecho, Pepe as the trees there. Nigerian landforms, we have highlands and uplands, even islands, okay? So what are all these things called? Islands, uplands, and the uh, islands. Then we'll look at rivers and um, lakes. 
So highlands are land forms such as mountains, hills, and plateaus. Okay. While lowlands are the southern part. Now islands, rivers, and lakes. You've seen the images. You've seen the image. The an island is completely surrounded by water. A piece of land that is completely surrounded by water. You can see the image of the island there. So we have Boni Island in Port Harcourt, and then we have the Lagos Island, which is one of the most famous island in Nigeria. Oftentimes, we say that the weather is fair when there are clouds in the sky. So we do experience fair weather when we see cloud in the sky, just the way this image before you is. So when you see such uh, cloud in the sky, you will say we have a fair weather. Then rainy weather. Rainy weather has rain most of the day. So most days that it rains throughout, you say the weather is rainy. Then stormy weather has very dark clouds, strong winds and heavy rain. I love you and please be good.